Oh, shit. How is everybody? Hello. Hello, you goddamn magnificent people. Hello, hello. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we just, we vibing out. Configure. Boop, boop, boop. Um, it's kind of dark in here. Uh, white looking good. Now ah, let's go back to purple. Purple's, purple's the vibe. Purple's the vibe of this stream. Uh, let's go. Boom. Um, all right. We're going to cut that out. We're going to go to R. Fucking boom, boom, and boom. Uh, fuck. Nah, shit. Boom, and boom, and... Let's a fucking go! <laughs> Do 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 Seems to be a treasure chest. Yeah, let's see what we got. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Whoa. This place feels different than it did last time. Hmm. That was a few months ago, wasn't it? There could have been a change of heart since then. Do you remember how far you went in last time? Hang on one sec, chat. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm back. My apologies. Um, do you remember how far you went in last time? I think it was just beyond that door. That's where Senpai came to help me. I see. So you're the only. So you're the only familiar. So you're only familiar with, with the area close to the entrance. No, Let's keep going. Depart. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Exhausted happiness for everyone, huh? Maybe it, maybe it really can happen. Maybe if I... Maybe, if you're, I, maybe even I can get a better life. Hmm. That's actually pretty solid. What the fuck? What the fuck? Bulletin board? Um, Strange. This poster's out of place. Hmm. Why is this palace filled with people? 
These people exist only in the cognition of, of the palace ruler. They're like life-size dolls in a way. Although they still don't know how the ruler perceives things, they would uh, that would cause them to appear. I see. Dolls, huh? I never would have guessed they seemed so real. Welcome and thank you for coming, patients. You will be guided to, to our one specialty care facilities according to in, according to your individual desires. Will you assist each and uh, we will assist each and every one of you. Oh shit! Rest assured, everyone will be, uh, can become happy. Should you have any questions about the facilities, feel free to bring them to our staff members nearby. Mm. What a strange announcement! Become happy? What kind of place is this? Yeah. This place don't this place don't look Looks locked. This is perfect. <coughs> oh fuck. What the fuck? Hello. Those guys. You aren't among those who desire salvation. Huh? We have business here. Leave! You are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. What? The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. <sighs> Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? <laughs> Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes, ready whenever. Who the fuck are Maybe you? Too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. It's been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. Hakechi san! Now, time to obliterate them. Alright! I'll break them. Whoa, whoa, you have different fucking things. Uh um uh Make I, uh, That should do. Let's fucking go! Good! One got knocked down! Don't get him! <laughs> it's killing time again! Set the landing! Hey, let's go! I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Especially considering the last minute arrangement of our team and all. Yoshizawa-san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research, and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Hmm. Um, so, I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a... a ruthless sort of person. Yep, this... every day is... I see. 
If this is his normal. Let's say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving. Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. <laughs> yep. <coughs> well. Looks like it's locked. Focus. Oh, damn. This magnetic tape. <laughs> uh, there's no hiding. I just want to hide. Oh, shit. You can't hide anywhere. You can't hide anywhere. Why is there no hiding? I can feel it. I'll reveal your true form. Ah, there we go. We They're an even match for us, so don't mess up. What? What are you weak to? They're an even match for us. I know you're weak to something. I have. I had you. Well. Good. One got knocked out. Here going. Come on, pass. Give the first passer some extra power. Ravage them. Joker took one down. I gotta keep up. Let's go. Feels weird. I don't like this one fucking this bit. <laughs> That's a safe room. <laughs> it's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? Yeah. Entrance hall. I should write something. Let's get back to it. I don't like this place one fucking bit. <laughs> This is weird. I can feel it. I'll reveal your Hello. <laughs> oh they shit. Them. They're an even match for us. So don't Let's mess up it. too much. Let's finish this. They're still up. Persona. Ravage them. Oh, that's a block. Okay. Oh. What a lovely sight. What are you? Where are you? Level seventy-four. A beat. Okay, make him happy. Lend me your power, and let's talk. Once, once me understand you, me lend you my power. Looks like it doesn't have a care in the world. You should act that way too. Me not make excuses, me lost, so me pay consequences. Me, I'm really in, in soup now. Do you... Do what, uh... Do what you want. Me, I'm ready if I... If you want to grill me, so... I don't want to eat you. It's not like me wanted to be eaten by you. So, what me here is, some humans care for beasts like my like own family. Why well, can't... Uh... Why you not care for me like that? Um, why you treat me like this, then? I want to cherish you! Me not a shadow, me exists. Me that belongs. Me am Chimera, the power is all you want. Sick! I better not have a stock full. Well, okay, good. I guess that had to take a certain <laughs> amount of power. <laughs> I was about to say, I was about to say, I better not have, like, a stock okay. full. Do I have- how many more personas do I have? 
What are your stats, anyways? Ragi done, Bofu done. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're weak to wind! Okay. And death. Okay, cool. Scathatch! Oh. This opened up. What? That voice. Bye. Look. No way. What the fuck? Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too. I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire, my younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? But how was this video... <sighs> you good? I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... Like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm alright. Let's go. Hey. What's Gucci? When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? After transferring here? I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. Alright. You're the boss, brother. It's fucking weird. This gives me this place low-key gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Fuck, I just said heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit, man. Oh, a treasure chest. This place is enormous. What could this room be? Uh, you seem to be in pain again. Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that... I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. No, no. By all means. Be right back. Need to open up my door a little bit. Choo. Uh, I am back. Pachum. Hello. You are misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. What? <laughs> A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. Hey, what's up, Abram? What the fuck are you?
Ah. Just calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. This is it. Time you're attached with mine. Uh, right. Persona! You're mine. Oh, that's a block. Brute force won't do anything here. They're okay. physical attacks. Okay. Um. Oh, this is so weird. Uh oh wait, no, you're you you know that. Um Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, debilitate! I don't I don't know what the fuck to do, bro. This I've never I've never faced these guys before. Oh shit! Nice. Um. Okay. Ah. Uh, shit. <laughs> um. Fuck. Um. Hit him. Oh, you barely do jack shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wasn't anyone paying attention to her? That was trying to, bro. I'm sorry. Get back up. You got this. Thank you. No problem. Um This is my soul. I'm so fucking confused of what the fuck is going on, bro. <laughs> Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that <laughs> case, witness it for yourself. Huh? Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. What the fuck? Son, your. I really hope this helped you understand. What? Wait. A man's voice. What? If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? Nothing but heartache, huh? 
I don't understand what you're saying. Shit is going but I have down. No intention of leaving now. Yeah. We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? As you wish. What? Yo. Nah. I. Head on down. I don't. I. I. I'll meet you there. Okay. 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 I just... He agreed to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. You Thanks good? for your concern. You good, sister? But I'm fine, really. Let's go. Alright. Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? Akashi? You better not be thinking of any other fucking dumb shit. I'll reveal your true form. Shut up! Just as strong as we are, but they can't take our flesh attack. Shut up, Sondrion! Good! One got knocked down. Please keep it going. Oh, I'll break them. Manifest! Oh my god. Everyone did great! It. It's so weird hearing Akechi's voice again, but like, him insane! That's so weird! That's weird! Hey Red, how you doing? Right. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies for not, you know, huh. saying hi earlier. It seems they were not a very formidable opponent. Wait a minute. That's it. No! No, it can't be. No. I won't allow it. No, no. Is he this palace's... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, please don't let me... Please don't let it be. What am I feeling? How I dispose my arms. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? No. Dr. Maruki! What the fuck? No! Come on, man! <laughs> Fucking come on! Fuck! <sighs> fuck! Shit! No! Yes, he is. My man is drippy. My man is drippy as fuck. But no, bro, come on. I didn't want the snacks man to be. <laughs> no. Glad to see you're all doing well. I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler, but in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? What? You created it? That's right. I have gained the power to alter reality. To make it whatever what the people so wish for. Change it back, bro. Is that how you really feel? The old reality was cruel and unfair. Yeah, do I give him a god? Yoshizawa-san suffers immense pain each and every time she taps into her forgotten past. My past? Dr. Maruki, what do you mean? What's happened to me? All right. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. And I want you two to learn as well. Once mm -hmm. you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. That's... Huh. 
Today was brutal, huh? Oh. Feeling okay? It's not that. <sighs> Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. Uh, but you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. We're in the same grade, though. Oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? <laughs> Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. <clears throat> hey, wait up! <clears throat> Kasumi's the one that people want. Look where you're going! The light's red! Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The talented one who can reach the top of the world. Samiri, stop! Listen to me! Samiri! you remembered that's right i'm kasumi no that's not right i'm i'm not kasumi the girl named kasumi yoshizawa is currently deceased what it was last spring, before I started at Shujin. We were walking home from practice. It happened right there, on that street in the video. I wasn't looking where I was going. And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams, and even her life. I'm her younger sister. Samira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Her real name is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi-san's younger sister, but for months now, she's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? It seems... what the fuck? It seems to be at Sujin Academy Pogabook, the name Kasumi-san is written inside. It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him, if Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi, so I can turn her dream into reality for her. 
So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes. That's right. Limited as it was. I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Hmm? Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. <clears throat> My work will convert the wishes of the people into reality. Even as we speak, my research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This... palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. You could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. I don't know for certain. It'll most likely be treated as if it never existed. The cruel reality will cease to be, and the reality I generate will be the sole world recognized by society. And you assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again. Which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... I... Believe in yourself. It's impossible. I'm sorry, what? Senpai. What? I... I can't go back to being her. What? I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? I'll find my own. No deal so far, huh? you're doing with her I won't harm her it's in her best interest that you turn back you've made clear that you reject the reality she desires the reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa <sighs> well this isn't reality man it saddens me when you speak that way it said to me that you're doing this, Don't bro! You understand. You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. 
I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. Total waste of my time. A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. Fuck. What the I agree, though. fuck are you? Seems we're out of options here. Fuck. Oh shit. Time to fight. Are you ready? Keep up and don't embarrass me. Bitch, don't embarrass me. Why the fuck am I so susceptible? Thank you. Bro, you're gonna be fine. something just to heal you. Do I have that? Take it. All right. 
Come on, snap out of it, bitch. Me, me, me. Okay, good. You hit me a little bit, but that, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, man, motherfucker, you are a bitch. All right. Come on. Hit it. I should have killed myself. Actually, I'm dumb. Oh, the fuck! It's useless, idiot. Fuck, bitch! You thought that would hit me? No, motherfucker! Persona. All right, fine. Bitch. This just won't go down. <laughs> no, fuck. You just quit running your mouth already. I need to shut that thing up. Give me a hand. Move. Oh shit! I get a fucking showtime. Let's go. See what this one is. <laughs> Let's go, tag team motherfucker! I better level. I better. Ah, oh, I didn't get XP. Fuck. Okay, fine. Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Let us help her. That I cannot do. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go. Look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize, but you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. We'll meet again one week from today, January 9th. I genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. <laughs> he got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. Let's say we head back for now. I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. I think it'd be suicide to march back in there at the moment. We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. 
I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been. There's no point in obsessing over it now. I should go back to my... to my room. Welcome home! You sure... you sure we're late. It's me. I discovered something that, that I thought I should tell you right away. I called the Oshizawa-san's house to see what I'd learn. Um, they believe she's been at training camp since yesterday. To think Maruki really is changing our physical reality as he sees fit. It's scary, man. No kidding. This is the first time I've witnessed a power that even comes close to this magnitude. Even if the Phantom... The great phantom thieves you're so proud fell on fell on the line. Fell on the line with his scheme. You're going to see if you can change their minds, aren't you? Well fine. I suppose we can use we can use the manpower. If you can bring if you can bring them to their senses, that is. That's that's wholly dependent on whether or not they're capable of leaving the reality they're supposed to they supposedly wished for. I'll focus on investigating Maruki further. What do you... You do what you need to. Got it. Well, I'll re I'll reach you out to any if anything comes up. Good night. Was that a catchy? You two seem to be getting along well lately. Hey, so I was thinking, why don't... Why don't us fan of these uh, all go to a hot spring together sometime? Then Lady On and I can... And I can hee hee hee. How's that sound? Perfect, right? We should... We should ask the rest of the gang soon. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to, to actually see this... This new reality with your own eyes. I know... I know that your friends are enjoying it. Jamakun. It seems that the reality is... Um, this... It seems that this reality is the one from that Morgana wished for. All right, we ought to hit the hit the hay today. Ah, uh, the bed may ha may be a tad too cozy for the both of us. Oh well, I'll start sleeping on the sofa instead. Are you happy? Huh? Where's this coming from? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm happy. We used to sleep together. Do you like Do you like this reality? Like reality? Well, it is it is one we fought for with everyone else, so wait. What did I mean by it? That doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamoshida's palace, then that's when I met you guys. When we, when we'd go to Mementos, I transform into a I know you can do this. Huh? Uh okay. I got to be useful for humans that I admire so much. Nothing could make me happier. Wait, what was... Sorry, I'm... I'm gonna go out and do some thinking for a bit. You should get some sleep. It seems all I can do now is wait. Fuck. Yeah, I'll save the progress. Maruki said that your friends are already enjoying it. I should go see them. Where is everyone? I should look for them while, while I check out town. Hmm? What the fuck? Why? I can't use my phone to teleport. Okay.
No, she's here. For real? Oh my god, you did you did it, Shio. I know you could. It's all thanks to you supporting me, Han. I really appreciate it. Oh, I know I'm not the I'm not the one who deserves the credit. You kept your best effort and finally and now you're finally being recognized. Huh? Ian. Ian? I can't believe it. Over here. Talk about a coincidence. It's been a while since I last saw you. Uh, last time you saw Shiho, right? Um. Long time no see, Jamakun. Do you remember me? <laughs> wow, you remembered me? We didn't get to talk all that much since I transferred to another school, so... Or so early into the semester. <laughs> of course he remembers you. He has to remember with what... Um... What with um, what with the bragging I've told um, how how amazing my BF my BFF is at volleyball. Oh, on. Sorry, you have to put up with all that, Jamakun. Um. Shio was the MVP at the big meet uh, the other day too. Not only was she in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm so proud of you, Shio. Jeez. Ah, oh, you're too much. Two of them are beaming with joy. It seems this reality is the one that An wished for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, she is coming back to our school. Everyone in volleyball knows that Shujin is the top school when it comes to, to the sport. That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back after, after more than a little begging. I was so sad. Uh but she transferred for her parent, um, for her parents' job. But all is all is well. Uh, the ends well. I feel like everything's just perfect. Is it everything you wished for? Mm -hmm. Huh? What I wished for? Well, I guess you could say so. Any doubts about it? W what do you mean, any doubts? Well, I know. Well, I know I don't. I spent so much time worrying over every, everything that's, uh, that now I've, wait, what? But, Something but... is, I remember being so concerned that I just wanted to die. But then I met everyone and. I'll be waiting for you. Um... What does that? She is still alive even after all the things that um, that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Huh? huh? I just on what's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, um, I'm fine. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just feeling a bit tired. Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Uh, sorry. Sorry, and I'll call you later. Bye. See you, Jamakun. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Oh. An seemed so happy to be with Shiho, who is able to continue playing volleyball. But is this how she true? How things? Sh is this truly how sh things should be? I should check up on the others tomorrow. On the other members tomorrow. No, dude. What the fuck, dude? Ah! Uh, uh, fuck. Morgana is here. Maybe he knows where everyone else is. Hey, you Wha have a minute? Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Hey, are you looking for someone? Haru, she was thinking about setting up shop in Kichijoji. She went to inspect the new location with the president. She sure looked happy for for doing a bunch of busy work. Mm. Sorry, but this is all but that but is that all you need? I'm I kinda wanna be alone. There's no time for shopping. I'm curious of what the others are doing. Let's let's go to a different area. for Shibuya then. Shibuya. 
Dude, this is so fucking weird. Thank you. Ah! Ah, Ian, what a coincidence. We were just doing a bit of shopping, but soon we are going to celebrate our dad uh, receiving the Superintendent General Award. Your dad is... Come on, Makoto, you don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember, dad telling you earlier to just act like it's no big deal? Oh, sorry, I couldn't- I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So, so what groceries do we need to pick up, um, before we head home? I wonder what dad would like me to cook. I made eggplant miso soup for- for your birthday. You had fried mackerel on yours, right? I can still remember how- how you pestered dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey. Sis, I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. These two are beaming with joy. It seems like Makoto, this is the reality Makoto hey. wished for. Oh, I just had an idea. Would you like to join us for dinner tonight? Oh, I guess I don't know what we're having yet, though. Don't you think it's possible he already has plans by now? Look at you, little miss, little miss on outgoing. Where'd this turnabout come from? Eh? Oh, no, 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 that's that's not what this is. Enjoying the family time? Hmm? Hmm? Well, of course. Has your dad been supportive? My dad? Of course. He's done such a great job as a single parent and... No, but... Wait, something's wrong. Mom died, so dad raised us alone and sis... so close. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? But, I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. I just... Makoto, what's wrong? Oh no, I'm sorry, it's nothing. Sorry, Ian. We have more shopping to do, I'll see you later. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, we'll chat again soon. Fuck is going on, bro? <laughs> this is so weird. This is weird. Ah. <laughs> uh. Makoto seemed to be happy in being able to spend time with both her father and sister. This is truly how things should be. I should check up on the others <laughs> tomorrow. I need to go to Kichijoji. There has to be, there has to be someone I ha someone I haven't checked up on. I should go see them. Okay. 
Well, I mean, we need directions to go find a co a fucking Haru and Kichijoji. Hmm? So what did you do over the holidays? Nothing much happened for uh, nothing much happens for a single man like me. But never mind that. What about you? We welcomed the the new year with the family. We didn't know to. Um, we haven't done that since. I don't. I don't know how long. It felt like a dream. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where the fuck is it? It's not here. They're not here. Fuck. Where is it? Shit. Where are they? There's someone here. Ryuji! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you got you got scouted by that college? Whoa. Pipe down, stupid. It's it's not for sure or nothing yet. Anyway, I'm just saying the school's gotten word of something like that. Still, that, that rule is you even made it onto the podium at Nationals, too. I was worried about that. Uh, what... What would happen after you screwed up your knee? But I'm glad you were able to bounce back. No way, man. Ah, uh, you're still jumping the gun with it. You're, ah, uh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm, I'm trying my best so I don't get laughed off by the team by you guys. Yuji's laughing happily with the other members of the track team. It seems this reality is the one Yuji wished for. Hmm? Ian, what are you doing here? It's still winter break. Oh, maybe he stopped by to congratulate you too. Man, someone sure is popular. Is there anywhere you want to go eat after practice? It's our treat today. Oh, that's nice of you guys. How about, how about an extra large uh, beef, uh, extra large beef uh, bowl and some pork miso soup? Hey, and why don't you come with us, Ian? Enjoying the return to track? Um, yeah. yeah, it's fun. But what do you mean? It's just like. It's just like I, what I was doing. I, it's just what I like doing, you know. I get, um, I get all down when when I'm not running. When I'm not running. So your leg's fine now. Hey. My leg? Oh. Oh, you're. Oh, you're worried about me. It's totally fine, dude. No problems. No problems there since that injury a while back. And that's actually, and that was actually Kamashita's fault. So, wait, what? Ain't, ain't something wrong here? How do we know each other anyhow? We first met in the front of the station by the school, then... I'll be waiting for you, brother. Huh? Uh, sure. It's now or never. Here goes. Whoa! Whoa, what the hell was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See ya! Sorry, I gotta head- I gotta get back to practice. See ya. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Ah, this is so fucking weird. He just seems sincerely happy about being able to run with it with his fellow track team. Sorry, chat, I just had to light a candle. I'm just relaxing. Got the candle drip. Alright, Haru. We need to get out, we need to go check on Haru. Seems there's somebody I haven't checked up on. I should go. Ch I should go see them. Still my trip though. Damn. Hey, are you looking for him, Haru? 
Well, sh she was thinking about setting up shop in Kichijoji. Never mind, you're heading out, right? Stay set. What the fuck? Hey, you have a minute? Hey, have you gone? Have you gotten shorter, shorter or something? I feel like I used to. I feel like I used to have to look up to you, look up at you. Never mind. You're heading out, right? Stay safe. Yep. For Shibuya. Dude, this is just so fucking weird. Ugh. Ah, oh, shit. Kichijoji? The amount of pedestrian traffic here is is well within our threshold. So this, this would make a fun location for a new store. Yes. I agree. The research uh, says this community is mostly interested in high quality ingredients and a modern store d design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce and, and a simple, elegant interior. My. Oh, Ian Kuhn. I didn't expect you to run it. I didn't expect to run into you. What are you up to? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. We're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He he's an underclassman at my school. Oh ho! To think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Or. Are you truly just friends? Wait! Jeez, father, don't jump to conclusions like that. Fuck, I kinda wish. I should've went- should've went for her. Haha, <laughs> 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 calm down. Ha ha ha, calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still. Were such men to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away, understand? <laughs> oh, father. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? Father and her father- Father and her father are enjoying each other's company. It seems that this is reality Haru wished for. It's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. You truly must be a wonderful friend for her. Please keep being good at, um, as good to her as, as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father. Oh, would you care to do something together, Ian Kun? We have a bit of free time, so we could grab a coffee or something. How's business? Sure. I don't know why all the I don't know all the details. I'm just helping out my father. He's been busy busy, but the staff has been holding up out uh, their own uh, holding up their own end. Uh, they're out scouting new business locations too. All in all, I'd, I'd like to think things are going quite well. Has your dream come true? My dream? Oh no, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um. Wait, I just... I know you'll get through this. Mm. Oh, okay. What happiness can be found through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse what? me? What? That just now, that was... Haru, what's the matter? Ah, uh, nothing, father, nothing really. You must be getting exhausted after after all this surveying. Why don't we take a take a break for somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll ha uh, we'll have the chance to speak more in the future. Until next time. It seems all I can do now is wait.
something tells me I'll get Yusuke Busuke next. Happy with, uh, Har Haru seemed happy um, to be able to talk to her father without fear, but this is, but is this truly how, sh how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. Yusuke Busuke. There's, there has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. What the fuck? But hi y'all, Ben. I'm sorry. My apologies for not talking. It's just I'm so. Hey, oh, are you looking for Futaba? Oh, she's out shopping with oh uh, with the chief and, and Wakaba. I think they said something about hunting for games in either Aki and over in um, Akihabara. Akihabara. Um, they look they look like such a happy family. Hey, and have I always? Never mind. Forget what I said. Any, forget I said anything. You're going, out, you're going out to see the others, right? Stay safe. But, uh, how have y'all been? I'm sorry, I haven't, like, talk at all. My apologies. I have been mostly, like... What is it? I've been mostly, uh, so en entranced with this. Like, it's so weird. What the fuck? Uh, but how are y'all? I know I'm asking basic streamer shit, but... I genuinely do wonder about your guys' days. It's is whatever. Oh, oh yeah. How are your fa how are your finals, um, Abram? How are your finals, bro? You think you do good or like what? What's up? I didn't have any finals today? Oh shit, okay. Never mind. Thought you did. Oh, man. Well there, Futaba. I thought you just came came here to buy a video game. But but can't you can't you feel it? All the limited editions and, and the gaming gear. It's the store's fault for being for being a one-stop shopping emporium for gamers. So mom. No ma'am. Do you think I get I get sup, uh, supplemental grants with uh with nothing but puppy dog eyes. Motion for additional f for additional funding denied. Uh, my case was dismissed. Hmm? Ian? Mm. Oh hey look! Oh hey look who stumbled upon us! Come on, hurry up and pick something already. We're so. You still want to get lunch after this, right? We can take him too. We can take him too now. Oh, what a thoughtful what a thoughtful gentleman! You hear that, Futaba? Sojo is gonna treat us. All to lunch. Hey, don't put it. Don't go putting words in my. Really? Then, then back to Oblong. People, people, it's curry time. Uh, you eat that all the time, though. That's cause it's the best. You really can't get enough of that curry, can you, Futaba? I mean, she does have a point. <laughs> Thanks for the glowing review. Three of them are all smiling at each other. It seems that this is the reality Futaba wished for. Sound good, Ian? I know you, you. I know um, you know how awesome Sojo Curry is. It's his most cherished dish. Of course, Sojo and Mom work together to improve its flavor. You know, mm. and huh? Isn't this like a beautiful dream? What? What's that supposed to mean? What are you getting at? Is it a dream? No, but. I'll be waiting for you. Huh? I still don't get it. Come on, why won't you just tell me? I won't let other 
I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. <sighs> what was that? You alright? You two are getting a bit weird. Could this be a case of raging hormones? Look how serious they, uh, they've both gotten. I'm okay. Um, it's nothing. Let's go, Mom. The curry can't wait. Ian's got stuff to do, I assume. Well, see ya. Huh? Hey, Futaba, don't just sh don't just take off like that. Uh, I'm well, down. we're gonna head back. We're gonna head back. And, uh, uh, come by for some grub when you're done with whatever you it is you're doing. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. My little sister's been telling me to fix her PC. She's always uh, been the bossy type. Alright, there we go. Futaba seemed happy being able to spend uh, her daily life with both her mother and Sojuro, who loves who love um, who she loves very much. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the others tomorrow. Is Yusuke Busuke really the last one? Yeah, he's the last one, <laughs> dude. That's so fucked. There's there has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. Jesus Christ, two days. Hey. Hmm? Are you looking for someone? Yusuke? He said he was um he was going to check out the exhibits at the art museum and, and you know. And we we know? Um He sounded pretty emotional, said something about a piece finally getting recognition. Maybe you should go check it out. Ian, I think something's wrong with me. Or maybe not. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to hold you up. Don't mind me. Don't worry, brother. Maybe I should head. Maybe I should head to Shibuya. Shibuya. Oh, fuck. Shibuya. Let's do it. I'll be right back, chat. I need to go use the restroom.
All right, I'm back. Oh, shit. Oh, there's my glasses. I was wondering where they are. Yoink. God damn, bro. Look at my fucking drip. I want to wear something like this, to be honest. What kind of shoes he got, though? What kind of shoe? Hey, yo, let me, let, me, let me see the shoes. Let me see the shoes. Those look like... Oh, they're, um... Oh, okay. They're like dress shoes. Oh, wait. Wrong way. Yusuke in the distance, he seems to be viewing a painting. What should I do? Speak to him. What a coincidence. Ah, you can't. Ah, you came to me and I was just thinking about contacting you. Take a look. My mother's painting is finally receiving public attention that it deserves. I'm glad uh, it's on display for this week only, so I'm glad we have this chance to view it together. <laughs> I, I am truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting here. I, my drive can, uh, my, dri uh, my drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's pr protege, or, or my sensei's patronage, um, each day also brings me closer to, to painting such an impactful work. Nothing in this world can make me happier than I am at this moment. Your who? Indeed. Why, my sensei, of course. Matarame? <laughs> oh, shit. Hang on one sec. My dog going ape shit. Hold on, I need to check on her. Ah, oh, I'm back. Sorry, my dog was going... My my dog was going apeshit. Even after my mother's passing, since I never stopped advocating her work to the public. Not only that, he took me he took me in and cared for me when I lost my own family. I truly cannot thank him enough. Yusuke is so happy, it seems this is a reality he wished for. Ah, just... I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't we... Why don't you come join us for dinner? Since he's been very interested in meeting you, don't worry, he'll even pay for for the meal. Is Matarame a good sensei? Yes. Yes, I'd say so, but... What's this about? What's this about, so out of the blue? That Sayori looks great there. The Sayori? That's not the painting's name. No, wait. That seems... Something's not right. I have faith in you, brother. I... What is this? What is... Could I be making the same mistakes as I did before? To think that this painting was the source of Madarama's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that... Is that my mother, um, won't know what... Of what... Of what transpired. 
Ian, I... My apologies. Actually, I'm sorry. But I'd like to be alone for now. It seems that all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Huh? It's me. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. By all means, brother. First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? He told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off and his research was ended for him. Did something happen? It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Akumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. They're not dead anymore? They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. What happened to Shido? Shido was the only one arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. It seems the Phantom Thieves were causing a stir in this society as well. But there's no record of your arrest now. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. Oh, fuck. What do you make of it? Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. See you in audio. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Odaiba, with Akechi. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so, about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Tomorrow we, we meet with Marky. I should head to bed early tonight. Yes! Yes! Yes, I would!
So, you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. I'm sure they'll come around. Oh, yes. Because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. I can't make more personas. How about this? Are you ready? Good to now, go. Let us depart. Well, shall we go then? Excuse me, is, uh... Whoa! Uh, hey guys. It looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... He asked me the other day, something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going, his words started making my chest feel all... tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like... like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So, in that case, what is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <sighs> ah, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey, do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened. But still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That... might be. But... But I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Oh, Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. Guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important and... I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from... whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well, I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Huh? Nice. Well... Let's figure out where Maruki is first. I don't want to waste any time wandering aimlessly. We encountered an information guide after going up the elevator. If he intends to welcome us here so gracious, graciously, perhaps we'll come across another guide soon. <laughs> uh, before I forget, I suspect the, battle, the battles are going to be even tougher now from here on out. Due to our lack of manpower, focusing on our own abilities is fine and all. But depending on the situation, it will be more efficient to team up. The combination 
the combination move we pulled off before, that wasn't half bad. All right. Let's go! Oh, I finally have a show time. Let's fucking go. That's awesome. Of course. That's all. That's all. That all depends on whether or not you want to keep it. I should write something. Oh, that's such a sad fucking thing to see on my save file. Investigate the designated place. I think, I think he was around here somewhere. VIP patients identified. We will now begin the grand tour. The auditorium is now open. The master awaits you there with the, with the patient you seek. Please enter through the door uh, on the left on the left hand side of the entrance hall. Hmm. Just as I thought, they're politely informing us of their location. This must be the door. Let's go. Fucking man, bro, come on. Wombo combo, bro. Wombo combo. I got this, bro. Alright, tag team. <laughs> hey, yo, bro, you missed the spot. Let's go! Level 78! Let's fucking go! That's awesome. That's dope. I like that. Alright. I like that a lot. Everyone oh, alright? I need to really Oh shit. I'm gonna cry. It's so good. Oh so bro, how the fuck can you hide and I can't? Joker, there's a chest. I see that, brother. Hmm. I'll Cheers, me, God, sir. Oh. We have the element of surprise. Fuck. All right, there we go. I can, I can hit it enough. I was supposed to say, since I have you now, I should. I was supposed to say, I should know your weakness, right? Wind. Do I have any wind? I do. Do I? Oh, I do. Oh, wait, actually, no, 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 no. I have something better. Where is it? Where is it? Aha! Yep. Hit it. 
Fuck. Ow. Owie zowie, that hurt my infinity stones. That one was too easy to knock down. That one was too easy to knock down. Hit it! Slice and die! Oh my god! Oh god, that's terrifying. Shadow eliminated. Let's go, Joker. Yep, I'm already ahead of you. Just picking up this. Tangled USB cord. Sheesh. Looks like there's a safe room around here. Hell yes, yeah, good sir. <laughs> it's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? Fuck yeah. I should write something. Now, let us depart. It's somewhere. You still that tangled USB cord one. All right, coop. Hey. Coo I didn't expect such hospitality in a palace of all places. They must seriously believe we, we came to resolve. How absurd. Wes over here! No, it's locked. What are you doing? There's no point in inspecting right now. I know, I just wanted to see. <laughs> just wanted to see. You never know, you never know, you never know, good sir. A voice recorder, ooh. Hmm. There's no doubt that Maruki is up ahead. Make sure you're ready. Oh, I'm ready, bro. Oh, I'm fucking ready. Jesus Christ, that's so fucking bright, bro. Thank you for coming. What's wrong? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? Are you still jumping the gun? I'm trying to, I'm just trying my best. Don't get left off the team by you guys. This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. This, re this reality? I was so sad when she transferred uh, for her parents' job all as well that ends well. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to the painting, uh, to painting such an impactful work. Please, I want you to understand, for their sake, as well as yours. I'm just as, uh, I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. Really? Then back to Oblong people, it's curry time. Oh father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? My friends want to stay in this reality. That doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamoshida's palace, then that's when I met you guys. When we go to Mementos, I transform into a... But is that really true? Well, it's time. <sighs> if I accept Maruki's offer, 
My friends and I will, will be able to live happily in this reality he's created, or so he says. If we stay in this world, we'll, we could, um, we really could be happy. We really could leave happy, uh, lead happy lives, free from pain and suffering. But our memories will be distorted to allow for the new circumstances. That's probably a, no. Way. There's probably no way to avoid that. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. I can't accept this, bro. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. Don't hide from the truth. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Sumire's fault. I can't live that kind of life. <gasps> Fuck. Please. Don't try to stop me. If you do... Then I'll... Don't do this. How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Please, don't make me do this. Oh, it's just me and her? I know he's here. I, I literally keep forgetting where he is. No, 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 no. I'll just stick with this. Some other way. I know it's here somewhere. Um. Calm down. Is there anything? Is there anybody else that repels? You know, you know, you know, you know. Then how the fuck? Ow, fuck you, Let's asshole. Go. Come on, man. Oh, he's weak to that as well. Oh shit. Um Gabriel. No! Sandrion! Persona! Black Frost! 
Hmm. Persona! I see you're charged as well. Persona. Then I'll end this quick. You lost? Why? You need to stop. Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters. Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. <laughs> I can give you strength. So you don't have to suffer. Doctor. Tell me. If you want your pain to end and desire to live as Kasumi. I'll actualize it! What the fuck? <laughs> this is weird, bro. What the fuck? Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, Escape from the nightmare! <sighs> no! I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in Cinders ever again! What the hell? Uh, this so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. Alright. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! Persona talking to me. Holy shit. This is weird. <laughs> I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. Mark. Wait a minute. So totally berserk. Is that you, Skates, from P4G's? Persona? Looks like it. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. Oh. Smaller one? Looks like it, bro. What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. Yep. It's time. There. I'll break them. <sighs> Shit. That works, thank fuck. Gabriel. All right. Elias. Thank you. Oh shit. I won't hold back. Ooh, fuck. Yusuke Busuke. Ah, uh, uh, fine. Alright, Yusuke. Be my fucking knight in shining armor, man. Missed, bitch. Okay, now that actual that one actually got me. Detox. Thank you, Maruki. You actually helped me. Thank you. Again? Oh. 
Owie, zowie. That fucking hurt. You bitch. <laughs> Some other way. I have no fucking clue what to do. Yeah, you know, I'll go back to Gabriel and hit it with this. Hey, yo, nice man. Hey, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, now be a be a awesome fucking dude and like. Help me get my shit back. Owie. He talks. Oh, yeah. Out of my way. Go to center. Bitch. I won't hold back. Ow. Bro, you're making me use all my SP. I gotta use. I might need to use one of my SP items soon. You bitch. That's what I'm trying to do, bro. Need this? For fuck's sake! Shit. For my joy. <clears throat> that hurt. Fuck, uh, relax gel, where's the relax gel? Found it! Fuck! Shit, that hurts! Hmm. Yeah, something for, something for your troubles, man. And we on the same shit. You can't hurt Ow. me! Nice. Fuck me, man. There we go. Sona. Where? What do I use on you? Ooh. I know I have. Oh, no, I don't have Blazing Hell. No, that's. I was on. My dumbass. <laughs> um. I don't want to use my Death Woods. I really don't want to use my Death Woods. <laughs> Even though they probably do the most damage, it's probably gonna fuck me in the end. Uh, Bratch, oh well. Orpheus Piccaro. Cadenza. Missed. Oh fuck, never mind. Missed. Missed. Persona. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Gabriel. All right, for the last yeah. fucking time. Akechi. They've got a death wish. Ow. <laughs> I'll break them. Not Hit it. How? <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, this is not Pog. Let's go. Mm. Black Frost. Hold on. Come on, Ted. 
go. Now, it's fine. Detox. Death sight. No, I get done. Ah, that revived me. Let's go. That's a resist. Persona. Gabriel. All right. All right. I trust you, bro. Come on, get back up. Come on. Come on, bro. You know what? In fact, uh, I know I have it somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Um. Aren't you the leader? Well, no shit, Sherlock. Fuck you. <laughs> Here. Here. Get this both up for both of us. Nice. Nice. Out of my way. Fuck. Stand Damn it. Down. Let's go. God damn it. Thank you. Uh, actually. Miss. Miss. Ow, oh, fuck. Never mind. That got me. For my joy. Ow. Let's Asshole. Go. That's not right. Actually, some other way. I want to play my cards right. It got a death wish. Persona. Use this. Oh, shit. Fuck. I should wait. If. How asshole? <laughs> Where is it? I know it's here. Block. That's a block as well. Let's go. That's a resist. Second evasion removed. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Decrease defense. Oh, that's already in effect. Um. You know what? Ravage them. I haven't been able to attack her at all, bro. Fuck. Um. Why do you keep on doing that, bro? Bro, why? I'll take that. You barely got any health, but okay. Cool. Persona. Oh, just you wait, bitch. <laughs> just you wait. That should do. I'll give you debil debilitate. It just doesn't work, man! Fuck! <laughs> I gotta kill her first. Damn it. 
Damn it. There's no end to this. Just what the hell is this thing? I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth. We can't afford to waste time on this shit! Here it comes! I don't think so! <laughs> hey, Ryuji, what's up, bro? <laughs> Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush in by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. You came. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that... Akechi-kun and Dr. Maruki? Yoshi's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? Long story, bro. <laughs> <sighs> so much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first. Right, Joker? Yep. All right. Let's get in formation. Okay, guys, leave the navigation to me. Let's push it back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? Let's go. <laughs> Panther dodges the Ow. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> All right. I'll break them. to heal us. People are going up slowly but surely. Okay, 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 okay. Uh. No charges in here somewhere. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Oh shit. Weak. Nice. No, it's here somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Um, no, no. Gabriel. Yeah, do it. Uh, do 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 do. Wait, before I do anything, who's next? Persona. Ravage them. Okay. Rose up again. It's payback time. Ah. What's going on with you? No more games. I let's do this. Let's do the shit. Wombo combo, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, hold up. Is down, bro. Hit him hard. What the shot? <laughs> I just gotta, I just gotta get, I just gotta keep on. Uh -huh. Let's go. I just really need to like. All right. Resist. Nice. Congratulations. You survived a little bit longer. Go 
Let's go! Oh, thank fuck. Let's go! Dude, I was at such low health. Fuck! <laughs> Yoshizawa-san! You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. Your... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Oh, joy. That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wish for anything like that. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want, but I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san! Still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. This bitch. <laughs> if your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading. I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's got a rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? I don't want to know so far. Or I should. So, Dr. Maruki, he altered our reality to make our dreams come true? <laughs> this is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? That's right, Akechi. There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. Because she's not our enemy. So you're not here to fight us. I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here. Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, 
I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? <sighs> I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you all right? I... Are you okay? Oh, yes. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh, yeah. Third semester's starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. I didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom? Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way, too, now. Oh, oh yeah! I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. Hmm. What was that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh, yeah! That's right! Why were you human, Mona? You're supposed to be a cat! I am not a... Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess I am a cat. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with a catchy kun <laughs> We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. It's okay. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. What? School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. Look who you're talking about. How could it be anything else? Sheesh. All this trouble with Yoshizawa and Maruki. We've got nothing but problems right yep. now. If 
for now, we should meet. We should all meet up at the at the hideout. We gotta recap the situation and hold, and hold a strategy meeting. I've been trying to wrap my head around this, and it's um, it's just it's just not happening. I can't think straight at all. I can hardly blame you. I, I'm s I'm still confused myself. Either way. I think we've all learned we all need a bit of rest. Um, maybe there's maybe a good night's sleep will help us calm down. You're right. Certainly the combat has us tired out as well. All we could use is um, use some time to decompress. And on that note, good night. Well, we're going to we're going to need time to figure out all, to figure out. Ah, fuck! God damn it! Shit. Um. Either way, I'll um. Um, either way, we can think about this tomorrow for now. We should get to, we should go to sleep. Let's do it. Um. Hang on one time. I'll do another. Mm. Make everyone happy, huh? But even so, anyway. Let's think about it tomorrow. Hmm? What the fuck? Oh shit! I was wondering when I was gonna come back to this it's been place. Quite some time. Why the fuck am I still in my? Why the fuck am I still in my chains? Why the fuck are the bars still up? We have finally succeeded in reaching you. These clothes. You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity, one who's bound you through your future. However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. Wait. We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Damn, bro, my you fucking dread! We ought to tell everyone else that, too. Let's all meet up after school. Um... Uh... Hello. Good morning. Um... I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly... How have you been? Physically, I'm fine. But mentally... <sighs> to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. My memories are still pretty fuzzy, and... I haven't really processed everything yet. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. My shoulder's fine. What do you ask, coach? May I take the extra classes as well? I want to study more. This class is so awesome. There's no bullying or anything like that here. My bad. I have a club today after school. You guys can go home without me. Huh? Club? I thought, I thought he was in the go home club. <laughs> nice. Time's up. Happy New Year, everyone. Y'all did your homework, right? Next year's going to uh going to be all um all about your college and entrance exams, so you better better start preparing now. Oh, and if you and if you cause any trouble, that'll show up on your transcripts, so make sure you behave yourselves, okay? Now it's time to turn in that homework. Let's see. Who's it who's on class duty today? Man. Have we been studying? We're not 
Well, not that you really had the time for that. Yeah, of course I haven't been fucking studying Morgana, dumbass. <laughs> Is everyone rested up? More or less. My mind's my mind's racing so much that I passed up before I even realized it. Same here. I think I've sorted through my own thoughts, but I'd like to hear everyone else's takes. Just me at the hideout. Sure thing. We'll come to the hideout right after school then. Gotcha. Cool, I'll be waiting hey. for y'all. We'll definitely need to update everyone about Lady Lavenza. And cook up our and cook up our plans for here on out too. Cook up in the stew. Just whipping it up. We have to choose our own path, eh? The Ketchi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can't accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire, but that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. But who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality's wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so... somebody say something? Uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Check out the palace. Yeah. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Good day. This is Lavenza speaking. Lavenza? Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. That'd be helpful. Wait. How is she even calling you? And how'd she know how high our wills are? <gasps> Did she tap your line or something? Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. Apparently, she can hear you. Hmm. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Where? It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore, let us convene at your school. At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offer to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, 
I think we ought to team up. Mm hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out too. Damn. I guess that settles that. Damn, fuck. <laughs> Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right. Let's head home for now. So what do you think of, uh, what do you think of Lavenza will, um, how, so do you think Lavenza will make it to the school? I hope she doesn't get lost or anything. Yeah, don't you think it's bad, it's a bad idea for her wandering around in that getup? That's true, hopefully no one gives her a hard time. If someone does, you better come up with a good excuse for her, Ian. I'll handle it. What do you, what do you even say? <laughs> Your option is kind of limited for as a transfer student Just say she's your little sister or something at any rate. I'm certain she would she would reach out uh, to us if we um, If something were gone wary That's true. We can put our faith in Lavenza agreed. Let us let us know if anything changes the end. Good night everyone Yeah why would Lady Lavenza want to meet up at the school? It's not like she just wants to check out the place, right? Let's do it. Hm. Who knows, brother? Do you want to take a break for today? I want to think a bit more. Hey, what's Gucci? Sorry, it's nothing. Come on, what's up? No. I was just remembering what happened that night. You remember, right? The night before uh, we went into Mementos to erase it? Before we dealt with Shido? Hey! Remember how I'd say I'd finally found the place where I belong? Even though I said that and... I really believed it. I still fell right into Maruki's hands. I know I've made it obvious how much I want to be be a human. More than once I thought it it would give me a chance with Lady On, but why did I... what I did was just so lame. Yeah, really. Um, I can't believe I was off having a blast while you were busy trying to help us. You owe me one. <laughs> I can under I understand why though. Wait. Quit being so nice to me. If you if you try excusing something this big, I'd be more I'd be more disappointed than anything. Now that I think about it, you've been helping me from the very beginning. Hell, I was locked up in a prison when we first met. I'm nowhere near cool. You're already super cool, bro. Ah. Quit buttering me up. You don't have to tell me twice, though. I'm going to, I'm going to be super cool. What, from from here on out. Listen up. You know what? I'm gonna make a promise to you right now. Another one? It's like, isn't that like three now? Four or five? I don't know. From here on, I'm going to be more independent. I just kept relying on you for everything. Because deep down, I thought um, you could figure everything out for me. But that's all changing. I'm going to stand proud on my own on my own four feet. And I'm going to be the one protect um the one to protect you. I promise I will. Another one? Another change? Are you guys gonna kiss or some shit? Sorry. <laughs> I've discovered a new no, my original power. All right. Macarius has transformed into Diego. Okay. All right. 
time to serve Maraki. Um, time to serve Maraki his his justice dessert. Wait, just desserts. Anyone who tries to pull one one over on us is going um on us like like that. Is it just asking for it? Let's do our best. Right. Right. Sorry again for all the hassle. You and I are going to be even better partners now. Let's turn in for the night. Well, things are going to be hectic starting tomorrow. Let's call it a night. Magic presents. Increases effect on allies. Uh, on allies' healing skills may decrease. Uh, may decrease SP cost. What? Oh. I've, I've never seen this one. Uh, yo, Abram, if you're still here, should I... Wait. I think I might switch up Miracle Punch for um, Miracle Rush. Sorry. It's been acting up. What is this? Yeah, it feels like it's all fast. Expecting. Huh? Well, the fuck said I was trying to take a screenshot. <laughs> uh -huh. A new year is starting. Y'all look sleepy. What did you doze through the new year? Was Shugatsu one big excuse to laze around? Good grief. Shugatsu is not supposed to be an excuse to relax, you know. We decorate the with Kodamatsu and, and, er, and Kagami Mochi, uh, Kagami Mochi and Shi- and Shimin- Shimanawa, um, in order to welcome, uh, Tishigami deities. It's one of the oldest traditions in Japan. By the way, cherry blossom viewing and children- and even Children's Day are meant to com commemorate deities and spirits. Japan's got- got a lot of gods, so naturally they're- and, um, so naturally, there ended up uh, being a lot of events and rituals to accommodate them all. There's a phrase, uh... There's a phrase referring to all Shinto gods as a collective. Anyone know it offhand? Alright, Takami- Alright, uh... Takami-san, I'll bet you- I bet you, um... You slept through all the shiatsu. Huh? Oh, uh, I mean... Hey, wait! Hey, Lady is obviously panicking. Be a good guy and help her out. I'm so unlucky. I didn't even sleep through Shigatsu. Ian, are you awake? Can you give me a hint? It's some phrases about God, but it's kind of abstract, right? What's the phrase supposed to illustrate the about the gods of Shinto? They are. Yeah, I think that's right. They use a specific number, right? What's the phrase again? Uh, the one about how many gods there are in Shinto? The eight million gods? Yeah, I think that's it. That means this is it. Correct. Oh shit. <laughs> no we call them your uh, um Yao Yusa no Kami um. Yoyorzu uh, no Kami, or, th or the eight million gods through the uh, numbers, um, not meant to be breaking literally. 
Your monster is essentially the shorthand for a myriad gods and, uncon and an uncontrollable number. In all the days, the Japanese believed that the gods dwelled in everything. With all, with all these traditions, you could, you could say that these beliefs still affect our lives today. It's a wonderful thing, really. We really um, need to cherish our history. Nice going. Nice, Lady On. Seems, uh, seems relieved. <laughs> You're pretty good at sitting. I'm impressed. Oh yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Dumbass. <laughs> eh? You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for myself, be sure to order some jelly-filled bread and... Hmm? That's... Let's follow it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hey! Hey, chase it down so that you don't lose sight of it. God damn it. Oh. Hey, you see that? It went to the first floor. God damn it! <sighs> Where on earth is it trying to go? Come on, we gotta follow it for now. That. For real? The nurse's office? What's going on in there? Just like my dream. It even showed up in your dreams? That's strange. Well, never mind that. There's no point in thinking about um, about that right now. Let's go inside uh, the nurse's office quickly. Lady Lavenza. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I see. Exchanging common expressions upon meeting like humans do, it has a rather pleasant feeling. But that is irrelevant. Let's turn to the matter at hand. As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first... Please gather your other friends here. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much-needed rest. Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? Oh, I guess we should get everyone in here. Infiltration success. I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we're lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. I must ah. say, though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. All right, then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before. We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. It appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean... You're ready to begin? Uh, ain't that our line? Tell us what you know. 
Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it, as well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, <laughs> I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? Gotta come back. Wait, don't forget about our experience with the Metanav and Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Uh, could he really have done all that? I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition... Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization, although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan it was most likely through the use of actualization. Still though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself, we still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. And what if he became such a god? What? The god of control. Indeed. The being in mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Motherfucker! Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? No. The Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses' support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki? who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did. Mm. Masses were invented in the... Masses were invested in the Phantom Thieves, not Maruki. Wait, you, Wait, what? you what? 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 What do you mean? We, we never wish for anything, anything like, 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 like this. Is that really true? true, true. It's most likely because... He wished for it. What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? <sighs> what about our counseling? You can't change the past, but you still want to keep... Your chin up and press onward. Is that is that the gist of it? 
Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better uh, if none of this happened at all, but... Well, no matter what path you might have to you might have uh, have to take to get there, I hope your track dreams will still uh, do you some good in the end. <laughs> Thanks. Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire oh, for his actualization oh, was seeded within your hearts. Thus. I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Yes, this realization changes none of what we must do. Very well. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So, what you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with Mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, Anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. And, I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second, so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Yep. Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. You know, I actually... You know, I actually sided with Maruki. Really? Oh damn! You mean the palace is ruler? Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but that must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart he must have feared you would hmm. learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. Duh, dude! The Phantom Thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine then. 
You know, I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. Then that settles that. Wait, what about Yoshizawa-san? We may not have summoned her as one of the Phantom Thieves. Mm. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. I guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a... Welcome. Um... Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Sorry for coming over so late. And thank you for the coffee. No problem. Mm, it's delicious. Mm. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Go for it. Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. Marky. You've all found the paths you want to take and are following them with such confidence whereas I'm simply like Dr. Maruki said before I ran from the truth I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions my memories are still a bit hazy but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire I didn't want to accept it I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. Do you still want to run? No. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this, but now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai. What should I do? I know you'll choose well. <sighs> you can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai. But you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but... I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Let's reform society! Tomorrow we're going to the palace to take back the world. The real world. Rewriting reality. I would never have thought such a thing was possible. Not only that, but this palace ruler is ruled by a Persona user. How does that make any sense? I know... I know god modding when I see it. At this point, he basically is a god, right? This shit makes Shido look, look small time. We need to come up with a plan. That's a good point. We should meet up tomorrow. Sounds good. Speaking of which, we should contact Akechi. Should we contact Akechi? Poon? Uh, I guess we could let him back into the group chat, right? Yep, that'd be the quickest. Let's put him in. Alright, I'll take care of it. Thanks. One month ago. One month ago, huh? We better come up with a plan. That's... That time is gonna go by fast. <sighs> I should write something. Alright, everyone. I'm going to be heading off for tonight. It was a great stream. Thank you for uh thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh tomorrow I will be streaming again. And also later tonight. Not later tonight, uh tomorrow night as well. 
I'll probably be streaming this all, probably all day to be, uh, tomorrow on, uh, to be honest. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'd want to say around one, two, if not, then normal time. Uh, so yeah, I want to just get through as much of this game as possible. So yeah, I love you all to death. Peace out. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And have a great night, everyone. Yep, good night, Red. Good night, and good night, everyone. I shall see you guys all 